Hi guys, Mr. Rothwaffles here. Welcome back. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 3 of the Call of Duty Zombies comic. This issue just came out a couple days ago. I'm going to get right into reading it right now. Page 1. Early 1911, Juarez, Mexico. The world is a turbulent and violent place, but that does not mean there is not joy to be found. As mi madre once told me... Okay, hold on. This is Diego talking, so i got to back it up with the accent here. Jumping beans. The world is a turbulent and violent place, but that does not mean there is not joy to be found. As mi madre once told me, al mal tiempo buena cara. This is wrong, Miguel. He... I cannot do this. Ah, good thing. But you are going to, aren't you? I give good cara. You might think being one of the world's greatest spies would be difficult. Yes, but to me... It always came so naturally. You truly are as beautiful as you are innocent, Maria. That is not to say there are not sometimes complications. Maria! Whoa, why has he got such a weird voice? Okay, we're just going to go with it. Miguel! Captain. You! Miguel, please! Yes, me. Again. I would love to stay and catch up, but... Uh, I really do have places I need to be. Another daring escape by the great Diego Necali. There were, perhaps, easier way to have done this, but none would have been nearly so much fun. Miguel. Do you know who that was? He was. I am certain he was everything you dreamed of. He was whatever he needed to be to get here. You think that he was a man from one of your novels, here to sweep you off your feet. Please, you think he was here for you. You did not matter. All he cared about was in there. He is a thief, a spy, and a liar, and you are just another foolish girl. Forgotten about as soon as he acquired the plans for battle. And now we are in a saloon. You are right. No, I have come as I always do, exactly when I was meant to. And you? You are very lucky I have come at all. How exactly did you find me? Yes, well, for all that you are supposed to be this great spy, I can't say you were especially difficult to find. I can't say that they've quite captured my mixtures of handsomeness and charm. Is it entirely wise for a spy to be on the cover of magazines? It is mostly Mirda, and happily not available to most down here. And so far, Senor Rhodes, it has not harmed me. Is that why you are here? Are you an admirer? No. That medallion is why I'm here. I feel that may require further explanation, as beautiful a piece of jewelry as it may be. It's not jewelry. Or at least, it's not simply jewelry. I've had a difficult few months, Mr. Nakali. I've been accosted by French gangsters in Turkey and nearly devoured by the undead in Cambodia, all because I was searching, and am searching, for the greatest power mankind has ever known. That is not merely a pretty bauble. It is a map. This is an heirloom passed down in my family for God knows how long. Through wealth and poverty, this we kept. My mother told me it was part of something bigger, something that needed to be protected, kept safe, kept secret. She did not, however, tell me what it was. But I do know one thing about it for certain. You cannot have it. No, he cannot, because it is ours. Is that so? We have been watching you, Alistair Rhodes. We cannot allow you to follow this path. Some secrets must remain secret. You cannot keep this from the world. You will damn us all. We will save us all from foolish men like you. I admit this is interesting. I was inclined to think the old man was mad, but uh, if he is, then you have proved he is not alone. You need to flee. Go. I can handle this. I am very sure that is not true, and I do not feel that these gentlemen are going to just allow me to leave. You must give the medallion to us. This? If it is so precious to you, come and get it. Indulge him. <sighs> Indulge him. 
I sincerely hope that you did not believe I would make it easy for you. Diego! I believe, Senor Rhodes, that you should consider a different course of action. Run. I don't believe I can. Then fight! Stay back! Smash. He, like, throws a glass at him or something? Something like that? That will be enough. Oh, I agree, my friend. I agree. You are a foolish man. You have no idea what the stakes are, what the old man would unleash. And unfortunately for you, I am no longer interested in showing you the truth. Who is this guy? Crack! Oh, dear. My guy got absolutely bonked on the nose. And blacks out. And then wakes up. Mierda. Those bastardos think they can steal from Diego Nicali. That bastardo though hits like a damned mule. The jumping beans. <laughs> Help! Please! Someone! Please! You don't understand! I have a family! I, I have a gun! Back! Stay back! I don't want to do this, but I will! Will. It's an interesting word. We have it. We will do whatever is needed to save this world. Kill or even die. And I believe you will not. Don't make me do this. Don't force me to... No! I do not believe he wants to go with you, my friends. Diego! If you are going to keep that gun, use it. Oh, not like this. It didn't have to be this way. You are not a part of this. And yet, here I am. I may not have the will to kill you. Blam, blam, blam! But I am entirely willing to hurt you. Damn. Okay. My guy just shot them in the legs. Oof. Ugh. I guess you don't learn. Do... Click, click, click. You? I can count shots, and I learned you don't have any more bullets. Well, uh, yes. I suppose I'll just have to make do. Alistair, go. Diego! You do not understand your role in this. I do not care about my role in all of this. Can't you go any faster? He's escaping, you know. We stopped him from getting what we wanted. We can collect him later. You know, I'm not used to people not falling down when I punch them. I am sure your life is full of disappointment. You can't think this will work. Well, no. But I suspect this might. Hmm, clever. Yes, I certainly thought so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really do need to catch that carriage. Get on. What is it you think I'm trying to do, Senor Rhodes? And succeeding, I... We are not finished. No, my friend. I really do think we are. I suppose it's lucky for me that you aren't much of a carriage driver, Senor Rhodes. I am amazing, of course, but... Even the great Diego Necalli can't normally outrun a carriage. Oh, yes. Do be critical. Quite helpful. You know, I did just save you from whoever they were. We are... Yes, yes, saving the world. Truth, etc., etc. I'm happy you managed to hang on, as there was one more loose end to tie up. If there are two things you should know about me, my friend, it is that one, I am the one that does the stealing. And two, no one knows the city as well as me. I know, for instance, brunch about that overhang. Adios. And so the guy gets bested by his knowledge of the city. You, Senor Rhodes, should learn to relax. Take some pleasure from life while you have it. Relax? Relax? I was nearly abducted! Yes, nearly. You are well clear of them now, though. Ah, adventure. I do love it. Perhaps you would like to have an adventure with me? All of this proves that I am close to success. And leave this? No, my city and my country will still have need of the great Diego Nicali. Still. This should accompany you on your next adventure, I think. You're giving this to me? I am loaning it to you. I do wish to have it returned, or I will come looking. I don't believe I understand. As you said, those people trying to take it prove there is something to what you say. Still, perhaps you should abandon this quest. What if they are right? 
They are zealots, mad men. I suppose like recognizes like. I am mad, but I see the shape of the world to come. War, conflict, destruction. I cannot leave the world to such a state. But you certainly should leave Juarez. This is no city for old gringos at the best of times. They will not stop looking for you. And their leader. I do not think he is the sort of man who will stay down long. He's gone. The medallion with him. Were you able to find what I asked for? The research you asked for was fruitful. Good. Then we have not failed. And that's the end of the issue. Okay. So, we now just need to have our next issue, issue number four, and that's going to be the end of this series, because this is only a four-issue series, as opposed to the six-issue series that we had with the Victus crew for the Ether storyline. So, you can probably expect the next issue to be pretty damn crazy and hopefully reveal some good stuff. It is all obviously prequel content, and so there is only so much they can do with it, but fingers crossed that next episode, that final issue of this season for this comic, will be a spicy one. If you've enjoyed the reading so far, then please drop a like on the video, that would be fantastic, and make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss the next reading when it eventually goes live on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Mr. Off Waffles. I'll see you all very soon in more Zombies videos. Bye for now.